Hello, my name is Ryan, and I play Jack the Original. I am Marcus Finlayson, and I also play Jack. <laughs> Hello, I'm Harry Sunley, and I play Dr. Simeon. Do that again. There you go. No, no. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> 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 The cast love. He looks so desperate right now. Save Marcus. No. Hashtag save Marcus. Just, just, okay, five, just, just five pounds a day can help you save Marcus. <laughs> got a fucking surgical Spend a day on. with... Only five pounds to help save Marcus can help you uh, spend the day with Johnny Depp on his own profile. I'm gonna cut you. Harry reading the script. Shit, I'm fucking rolling. You can try again. I'm still rolling. I just forgot. I have merely. Made you undergo a brain brain transplant. Do you want to try that again? <laughs> <laughs> you made you undergo a, a brain transplant. <laughs> I have merely made you undergo a brain brain transplant. <laughs> again, <laughs> try that again. <laughs> you were blown to pieces, but your brain survived. When I found I used you in this brain, oh fucking hell. <laughs> Stay silent for longer. We're rolling. Do you want me? Still rolling. Still rolling. Do I make myself clear? John! <laughs> 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 Have you watched um, Gordon Ramsay's Stuff to the Hall? Yes. <laughs> Tell you what.
This is the stuffy. <laughs> this is the stuffy. <laughs> I'm gonna get on with this shit though. <laughs> yeah. This is the stuffy. This is the stuffy. Well, keep it up. Keep it's rolling. on again. Excuse me, is this studio now? <laughs> no. No. Again? Yeah. <sighs> Your brother is disgusting. <sighs> It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> we probably all look like idiots right now, don't we? Oh, yeah, like, right, Jack, that's it. <laughs> Last shot. Harry, Harry, what did you think of the film? Yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Marcus, what about you? Really it was pretty cool. What about you, Ryan? It, it was my idea. It <laughs> <laughs> was your Ryan, didn't it? Yeah, it was Ryan's idea. That was an amazing idea. It was a good idea. Yeah, good idea. And a good idea for Harry, well, maybe Harry's last uh, appearance in our films. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, well done, Harry. Well done, Harry. Well done, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing, like, extra stuff. This, this scene is. <laughs> I'll start. Um, I think the story is. Um, I think it's been experimented with in other science fiction before, but it's never been fully fleshed out as its own kind of plot. So it, we basically show like a new, unique initiative by fleshing out this narrative as is. So yeah, anyone else? I think Marcus. Has a, I think Marcus will do. But um, <laughs> I, I, I thought of the idea because um, your brain it survives, mm. but once you're dead, and then. Because Jack has been blown up, yes. you know, his brain survives and then it's easy to do a brain transplant, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? I, I can't answer questions. <laughs> Just cut that out, please. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought the idea was brilliant. I think it's a really, really um, quite meaningful and deep kind of storyline to it. Because I thought we'd kind of delve into a lot of kind of psychological and kind of yeah. a lot of psychological kind of aspects within kind of life and human human being really. And I thought the idea, I thought when I first thought of it, I thought it could be really gritty and I thought this could be very kind of grounding a lot of dark reality. Um, and I also thought my character was really good. I really liked developing my character. I really liked working with everyone in the cast really and I thought it was just a really really good story and a really good idea. Well we share the same character, <laughs> Jack Peterson. Well, well the Jack Peterson before the uh, experiment, Jack was just a normal guy, you know, he had a lot of successes. Yeah. And uh, he was drafted in in the war and so it, it was like another big su uh, success for him. And you know his family was proud of him. And uh, you know in the army he he did a certain job of deactivating the landmines. Yes. And then, unfortunately, you know, he got blown up. 
But then he had to wrestle a landmine literally. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He, he he took uh, you know initiative by. And then this and the, the second part of Jack. Yes, uh, Jack. He ends up a uh, part of this uh, of this experiment, and uh, at first it's implied and thought what has happened. He survived the landmine weather, and then the shocking twist that he's actually his brain is in another body now, and this idea of the the same mind but in this different body, and all the all the you know disturbing ramifications that come with that. Like for example, as strongly hinted by the ending, the idea of um, it's. The character himself, he's not him anymore because no one will recognise him from his physicality or his aesthetics. Is he's completely stolen? His life is gone. It's it's worth n- nothing now because he doesn't. He's in a body that doesn't belong to him. And then I think with my character, I think he was kind of the driving force of that. Yes. I think my character was the one that all the time when Jeb was feeling shit and feeling depressed, he was the one that reminded him of what he's become, reminding yeah. him that he wasn't the person he used to be, reminding him that his life is over and it's been destroyed. Yeah. And, and it's, th- it's disturbing as well. Yeah, mm. I think my character does have a lot, add a lot of kind of unsettling and quite unsettlingness to it. There's a lot of kind of... Um, that's what I wanted my character to be. I wanted him to be this very creepy and quite untrustworthy character that made Jack feel very uneasy. And that added to his psychological and kind of mental kind of um, issues that he was developing from what happened. Because I thought the idea that my character is very much kind of like he only sees Jack as a specimen, not a person. Yeah. Just it's just mm. an experiment to him. It's not an operation to save someone's life. It's just an experiment. So Jack turned into like a normal person, and then all of a sudden he's a specimen, and that's quite hard to deal with. Yeah, not yeah. not human anymore, basically. <laughs> and like I said, I think the doctor character he kind of just reinforced it all the time and making him feel even worse than he was yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think <laughs> it, I, I think some parts were quite productive and yeah, you know, it, was, it, was, it was it was fun as well it was very yeah, productive I, did, very I, fun. I think we all had fun doing it there is one question I've got to ask what? yes what? is this the stuffing <laughs> is this the <laughs> stuffing? stuffing this is the stuffing, <laughs> <laughs> <is the> stuffing? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was very fun. It was very enjoyable being with this crew. It was very fun. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely do work with these guys again. They're amazing. <laughs> Peel your pears and chop the sprouts. Peel your pears and chop the sprouts like this. Peel your pears and chop the sprouts. Peel your pears and to chop the sprouts like this. There's the core. Put the core on the board. There's the core. And place them in the heart. There's the core. Put the core on the board. There's the core. And place them in the heart like this. Peel your pears and chop the sprouts. Peel your pears and chop the sprouts like this. Peel your pears and chop the sprouts. Peel your pears and to chop the sprouts like this. There's the core. Put the core on the board. There's the core. And place them in the heart. There's the core. Put the core on the board. There's the core. And place them in the heart. That way they stay together.